Hello, this is year 2027. Coming to you from my kitchen to talk about my life story, the preface, the part before chapters come into it. Because I'm going to divide it up into chapters. Because it may be long and I don't want to make this too long. Okay. Preface is it's, it's going to get into why I. And, and how people's personality flicks and, and what causes me to write a, a life story. Now, now there's there are reasons that uh, people would not understand. People will say he's on drugs or something like that. When he's not, or they have opinions. It's all right to have opinions about life. And the person, if you if you judge the person, that's all right. That's your right. I don't believe in it, judging people, but I try not to. But I I do it sometimes too. And I guess we we're talking about my life story, conditions that have caused me to act in my life. Conditions, reactions I have made in times like that. And later we'll get in my life story and probably for the sections ended. Because everything has a reaction. What I do today has a reaction because of circumstances beyond my control. Because I was a human being and that people was human beings. We all have humans and feelings like anybody else has. I live love the best I can, but I'm not living love every second of life. I have a tendency to, to hold grudges and do just like anybody else does. Because I, I don't see everybody perfect. I don't see nobody perfect. That's life. Now... I made this long because it's previous. It's the part before chapters, and chapters will begin soon. Probably before this will even open. And I love you, and I hope I can help you understand me. And I probably will say things over and over because I, I am not perfect. I was born in 1960. May 3rd, my mom was a loving bomb, Bessie Elizabeth per Duff P Perry, my dad was a loving father, Roy William Perry Jr., my dad is alive today, my mom is not, that's life, and it goes on, I miss my mom a whole lot, but I, I spend time with my dad as much as I can. Remembering and enjoying this thing. My dad raised me right, and, he, and my mom raised me right. The best they could do. Now, I got whoopings. I believe in whoopings. I have no problem with whoopings as long as they need them. Kids need to be punished, need to be corrected. I believe that totally, but not everybody believes that. And my mom and dad did, and they did a good job, I believe. And I have to tell you, I'm proud of them. And I love them for them. My sisters, I love them dearly. I have three sisters. Teresa, Elizabeth, Elizabeth Perry, which is Owen now. Cindy Perry Bradley, which is a Bradley now. And Mary Harain Jenkins, which is a Jenkins now, P Perry. And I'm really blessed to have these sisters. They mean a lot to me. I love them a lot. And I spend as much time with them as I can. They all have their unique ways of doing things. Of understanding things, as I do. 
and that's why I'm doing my life story to put it in context of what makes me me what makes you you what what it's all about now I was made fun of when I was little and that's part of life it's not fun it's not good I think things could be better but they wouldn't and that's that's life I wish to God they were better, but they wasn't. Now, my dad and mom try hard to help me handle the, the disappointments in life. I remember going to school when, when I was in first grade. And I was cocky. Some kid says, said something like piss on you. And I actually pissed on him. And I had to see a teacher for it. Well, I was cocky and bold, but it wasn't long where that cocky and bold turned to hurt little child when the kids made fun of me. I started out bold and brave, but I ended up a hot puppy. Now let me tell you some things. Now I can tell you things that happened to me before score. When I was four years old, Doctors thought I had polio. They did all kinds of tests. Well, they found out no reason for it. My muscles just didn't work, won't work that day. But they got better after about three days. Why this happened, I don't know. It happens every once in a while in my life. But never, never gives a reason for it. And doctors have never understood why. And maybe they, they don't try hard enough or they do try hard enough or, or it's too hard to diagnose at my age and this and that. I don't worry about it no more. A lot of things like that in life I have to deal with. I don't go to the doctor and say, F -f figure out this today. No, I, I just sit down what's, what's the matter with me at the time. Now, I I am going to tell you a life story that I have lived back to when I was two years old when I when I was stubborn I was a stubborn young kid my dad would I turn off to you on my dad and he'd spank me lightly you know try to get my attention well, you only can spank a young kid, according to my dad, so much. I was stubborn. I'd do it again. And he spanked me again. I'd do it again. You know, my dad had to get up and go to bed because he wanted to watch TV. Because I wanted to do something else. That's life. My dad loves me very much. My mom loved me very much. And that's something I had to deal with. First grade was very hard for me. And I was, but I have come on. I, I had good childhood before first grade. In that first grade, it, it's all downhill after that. Because my friends that I went to see all seemed to be good friends. To be no, no trouble. Well, I'm about ready to hit nine minutes, and I've set this for ten minutes. I really want to do this preface in, in chapter one. I was born in 1960, had a lot of things happen to me in my life, and I'm going to tell them little by little. Thank you, and God bless you, and I hope you enjoy this. And I hope I don't go into too much detail, because I'm going to try to tell you the best I can. God bless you. Thank you for listening to this. In the name of Jesus Christ, I have really enjoyed doing it. Thank you, and God bless you. And I really thank you for your time.